Yo, this is your girl, Pastor Sheila, and welcome to Queen Sheila. <laughs> so I'm excited. I have a guest, uh, but she's not going to do much. She's here to just, um, I'm going to be hosting her for the next episode that we're going to have. And I assure you, you are going to love it. You are going to love it. I want to thank every single person that has continually been subscribing, commenting, sharing, and liking my videos. I urge you to go and subscribe. And please do share the videos on your platforms, whatever social uh, media platform that you are on. Please go right there and share this platform because we are going right in into what we are going to be talking about Today, we are going to be talking about determination. I think one of the things that God has been moving me in, even in my prayer life right now, is to be determined. And I wanted to get into depth of it so that I understand what is it that God is trying to do in my own life and also wants to do in somebody's life out there. So I have been continually trying to seek God, continually trying to seek out God, what is it that you want us to, to get out of this very season that you want us to be determined in every single thing. And I believe that if God wants to build something, like if there is a season ahead that is going to need something, God will make sure that he builds you in that so that you are able to withstand or stand in that season uh, that needs your determination. It can be good or bad or whatever season that you are going to go through, but it needs your determination how many people can say that if only it wasn't because of god or it wasn't because of the faith that god gave me in a certain season i would have given up it is because it is important to have an element or an anointing or an attitude for the season that's why you need to understand that you are going to become anything and everything needed for the season that is coming ahead in your life you don't need to become you not you don't need to become or stay the same person mm -mm. you are not going to use the same attitude as you were when you were still uh trying to trying to get the business together and when you have gotten the business together you are not going to be the same person when david was a shepherd boy and when he was a king those were two different people you need to allow the change the right change to come through for every single season and it needs you to be determined because every single season comes with responsibility and in that responsibility my god you will meet challenges so welcome and i i know that i believe that's a great introduction and we are going to get right into determination i think i'm a teacher of the word so i always want um maybe somebody to understand what determination is and you can define it however it applies in your life determination is uh having reached a decision having reached a decision a firmness like a firmness of purpose when you are firm about a certain purpose or assignment that you are given no matter the circumstance i've reached this decision and this decision will not be revoked or will not be stopped or will not be interfered by any challenge season or whatever that is going to happen in my life on my way to what to that thing that i am determined about so it is your firmness of purpose having reached a decision i always i i i when i wrote this about um making a decision it is like the scripture that i love a lot that says faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of god and every single time when i i i read the I, when i read the scripture i always wanted to understand god what do you mean when you mean that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word i want to tell you something there are words that were spoken to you when you are young that still control you if, if they they are still are bad you had to work on them if they are not controlling you anymore you had to work on them continuously repeatedly until they had to go out because you were replacing your words but there are things that were spoken to you when you were young that still 
have an impact or have uh, that, that still poke that attitude outside inside of you because you believed them you picked them up out of so many words that were said to you you picked that word up and you believed it that is what the scripture man means it says faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of god when you hear the word of god you can read the whole book a whole book of mark you can read the whole book of matthew whatever book that you are reading but you will come out with that one scripture that you have had and you will be i've heard this and you will stand up with that with that scripture in whatever that you need to stand up in if you need it in in that job interview you will stand up with it so that is what it means when you have reached when you have received the word you have had the word i remember that uh, i was watching this um the series and and this uh this man i think he was he was teaching yes it's a series of teaching and he was saying that this woman he came into the house and um he was um a, a robber and he came into this woman's house who had just gone out of a service and that woman had had one scripture he says for this reason christ came that he might destroy the works of the enemy and you know what when that thief came and that robber came in her house and tried to strangle her she went in and said christ came that he might destroy the works of the enemy and that woman closed her eyes and started and started calling on that scripture and the next time she opened her eyes there was no feet and there was nothing that she lost she had captured something and she know what she was going to use it in whatever situation or whatever she meets she knew that she has something so that determination is that reaching point where you make a decision that this is what uh, this is what is going to happen and this is going to be my outcome mm. this is what is going to happen and this is uh, this is going to be my outcome so i I know that when you have reached a decision, you should have something. You don't just reach a decision to stop on something because if you don't have something to go to, you know, you're saying, I, I don't I don't want to club. I don't want to smoke or drink anymore. There must be something that you replace, something good that you are going to replace it. I am determined that I am not going to do these things. But what is it after this one is kicked out? What is it that needs to come in? So you need to have a goal and or a vision. You need to have a goal or a vision. You need to have your goal or your vision. Okay, this is my determination. This is what I want. I want to have served 1,000 clients uh, at the end of the year or 2,000 clients, whatever business you're in. Or I want to have finished my studies. You what you built a vision and you built a goal. You write it down so that you refer back to it every single time. You refer to it maybe weekly, monthly, quarterly, and you still go back to it to say, am I still in track with the goal that I have? And you put a time frame to that goal. If you have, um, you said, I, I'm going to serve these people uh, for this year. Quarterly, you go back and, and see what is it that, uh, what, what, how many people have I served? I have 1,000, but how many people have I served for, for out of the 1,000 that I want to serve in that year? And number two thing that will help you to stay determined or to, to stay in the root of your determination is plan. After you have your goal, you can have your vision, you need to have a plan, baby. Mm, you got to have a plan. You can't just go without a plan. Hallelujah, girl, preach, girl, preach, but you can go, I'm kidding, but you can go anywhere without a plan and be okay out of that plan with having step one. Listen, when you make a plan, it doesn't mean that you have every resource of that plan, every resource of that plan. Let me tell you every person will always have something for the goal that they need you will always have something maybe your step one means that i can talk so i am going to make sure that i'm going to throw out my word out there and i'm going to make people aware of what i have or what i offer but my plan one is that i don't even have the resources or i don't have the capital for what i need but i definitely have a plan and my number one plan is i don't have the resource but i have a voice and this voice will be my activator for the resources 
this voice will be a key for those resources I need to put in and build my business. Be okay with just having plan plan one or just step, I mean step one of the entire plan or just two steps of the entire plan. And I have also learned that when God calls you or when God sets you up for a vision or a plan, my dear, God will not give you the entire plan. It is not like when you do your house and you have the entire plan, you know where your living room is going to be and all that and everything and you have saved up your money and all that. But what I've learned about God, if he wants to do something with you, all he needs is to bring that determination, your vision or your goal and your plan and you just say, God, this is what I have and I'm availing what I have and God will begin to take you from one meter to the other, one kilometer to the other and you will begin to see things unfolding you will begin to see things unfolding so never sit down to say i will only be able to do my plan or to do something uh when i have maybe done this much of what i need let me tell you there will not be a time that happens when is the right time to start something now now is the right time now faith is the substance you know everything now now faith is a thing of a now now faith now faith is a substance of things not what not seen but things that you hope for you believe that i have this i have faith no now i am going to take my step i am going to take take step one you know i am just going to take step one with what i have God will never give you the entire plan. That's why he showed Joseph. Joseph was shown that he would be what the president of, 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 of Egypt. But God never showed him that he would have to be sold first for him to get to Egypt. How you are going to get to Egypt, how you're going to get to your Jerusalem, how you are going to land that business, that million tender, that 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 investment. I'm telling you, God will not give you the whole thing. He will give you just step one for you to go. He will just give you activate that high hundred meters uh, um, uh, um, faith or, or hope just for you to go in and you, when you get to the end of it he will refill another one that's how God works I'm looking at the life of Jesus I I think my my inspiration first of all it comes from the Bible I am looking at the Bible, the life of Jesus. Jesus just came for just one mission. A mission that he was just to complete, that he was just going to complete in three years. But he waited for 30 years. Only determination, only determination could have built, could have been built in that man. He was a determined man. And you know what? He had a plan. And that plan of three years was built in his 30 years here on earth. That plan of just three years. He was a determined man that I know where I come from. And you know, when you are building, um, when you are building something, one of the things that you need to learn is to speak to yourself. Honey, nobody's going to speak to you. Nobody is going to say the things that you need. You need to speak to yourself. You need to tell yourself, what are you telling yourself? You need to tell yourself that I am capable. I am. I am above. I have it all together. And even if I don't, God, God has my bag. And if God has chosen me for this one, it means that I am the right candidate for this one. You need to speak to yourself. I, I want to share something just before um, I talk about speaking to yourself in depth. Was There's this girl at church. She comes to me and says, you know, Pastor, I'm looking for a job. And I'm tired. I've been going uh, to, the, to, to different places. And I feel like I, I'm not getting what I want. And I said, honey, um, what do you have in mind? What is it that you have? How many places are still left? And she says, I have this one place that is left. And I said to her, okay. If you have this one place that is left, I I I want you to go there and, and go and try again. And this time, have a different mindset. You've gone to too many diff uh, places that have rejected you, but this time, try to have a different mindset about this one, that this one is yours. There is nobody else that is more capable, that is more, that is more applicable for this one. Go there. And she was in the cooking industry. She loves cooking. Even today, I've met her like one of the restaurants where she works now, and I found her there, and she was like, Pastor, thank you so much. So, 
I told her to do that. And when she gets there, she calls me and she, say, she says, the owner of the restaurant doesn't want to see me. And I'm like, honey, so what? So pursue. Do something for her to see you. The, the goal of you going to that place was for her to see you. And you need to do something for her to see you. So think about a plan. Do something. Don't move on that chair until she comes out. Don't move even on the other side. Do you have anything to do at home? And she said, no, I don't. And I said to her, so where are you going? If you are saying that you don't have anything to do at home, so where are you going? Sit there, wait for her. She's not going to sleep in that office. So wait for her until she comes out. She has to go for lunch. She has to. I'm sure she still has to meet uh, other other clients or whatever, because she was a business a, a woman in in a multiple uh, businesses. So she still needs to go out. And when after I spoke to her and she sat down and said, "I'm not going anywhere until I meet this business woman. Until I meet the owner of this restaurant." She says. A woman came up, and when this woman came up, um, she was there to meet this woman. They're both business uh, business women, and she said, "What are you here for?" She says, "I'm here to meet her. I've been waiting for the whole day, but I have not gotten a chance to meet her." And she says, "When I go in, come in with me." My God, like, oh my God! And when she came in with this business woman that was going to see the the owner of the re- of the restaurant, she says. She said, oh, you've been waiting for me. Can I finish with her? Then I'll come and talk to you after. And it was that instance she knew that this job is mine. I am determined and I am not going to stop. Guys, one of the things you need to know when you are determined, you don't care about everything else. Your focus is on the on the price. What is the price? The price is this. The price is that at the end of the year, I would have covered this. And it does not matter that what you need to do, as long as it is good, and as long as it is, it is good before the eyes of the Lord, I, I, I don't see anything wrong. I don't see anything wrong. I went to retail business. I had a big vision. You know, I want to start a brand. I want to have my own brand. I'm looking at big brands and I'm like, God, I want to start my my own brand. And I'm looking and at the beginning, you know, people were like, oh God, she's selling. Oh my God, she doesn't have a life anymore. And I realized the attitude of people, yet they go into shops every single day. They go into spa, they go into Woolworths to buy groceries and they don't understand that for those things to be that there is somebody that thought about that brand they go into dior they go into all this all this big um um, they go at nike they go at adidas they don't understand that for it to even be sold somebody started it they might see it now when it is in a a lot of outlet stores where they where it's sold in bigger stores but they don't understand that they just started at a certain level and i believe that when they started to the people that thought oh they don't have a life they are selling and i think africans need to change the view and attitude about entrepreneurship as Especially uh, when you start at that level. The Bible says do not despise small beginnings. Especially when you know that I am not going to stay small. That I am going somewhere. I have, I have something to tell. I have a story to tell. And I am going to stick around and do what I have to do. So I, I know that oh, Pastor Sheila, she, she now sells. Oh my God. And I have this big picture in my mind and one thing that i remember telling my mom was girl i don't care i don't care how they perceive me perceive me at this point i have a vision i want to grow in this and I am determined. And I would sit here researching 2 a.m. I'm up researching for what? For my brand. And I started seeing things unfolding. And I'm, I, I should say I'm still at the beginning. But girl, the process and the, and the results are promising. There is life at the end of the tunnel. Oh, can I get an amen? <laughs> so there is life at the end of the tunnel. But if I listened to people that told me, um, that looked down upon me, 
They wouldn't say much, but they would look down upon me. I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be having even the life that I have because I would have listened to people. Every big man in the word of God, every great man in the word of God was nothing. They became something after they went through the process that God needed them to go through. Imagine, I, I think I always make an example with David because this boy was not loved by his own dad. He could have been interpreted his life differently and uh, hanged on the on the rejection that he received from his dad, but he did not do that. He used the opportunity for that wilderness, for that silent place uh, to cook his future, to have a relationship with God, to cook his skill, the very skill that opened the door for him into the palace. It was through him playing an instrument uh, that he had a door open for him in the palace. So he didn't sit down saying, no, I think I'm a, I, I don't have a dad or I don't have a mom. I don't have anybody that loves me. He was assured of the love of God for him. And he remained determined. And it is true that days that you will feel down, my God, you will feel so down and ask yourself, God, why? Why is this happening this way? Because I thought it will ha end this way. If God has shown you the end. Trust that you will reach that end. He is the one who is the beginning and the end. So if he is the beginning and the end, you will definitely reach that end. I cannot, I cannot stop sharing testimonies enough of myself because I have seen what determination can do. As a young 19-year-old girl, I, I want sponsorship. I've written my first book, and I'm, I'm going to a certain company. I go there, and I go to somebody that I think is a key for me to, to go there. I first write my letters and do all the things that I thought were necessary to do, and I go to the, the, this man's house who's a family friend, or like a family friend, and um, he, 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 in... in, in in all uh, delight, he takes me to the company because like, you're a young person, you're 19, you have a book. Oh my God, this is beautiful. So I go right in and I go to that office and I get to meet the, the right person to what? To, to, to take through the sponsorship and everything. And um, when we got there, she's like, who are you? Only to find out that... Um, when my grandfather, who like died many years ago, a dad to my brother, the older brother to my own, my own, my own biological dad, he used to be my 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 dad's PA or like uh, secretary, but he used to work in my grandfather's office. So I go there through this person who loves helping young people, who loves helping. Um, um, seeing young people thrive and I knew he was my key for her to open because if she had his name on the phone little did I know that my surname carried Wade also in there but you know what it, it had been long since my grandfather passed on I mean he passed on in 1996 so I'm there and this woman is like um how can you even come to your our company? You don't even use our network. I'm like, honey, I will use your network starting from tomorrow. I will rewrite this letter and I'll bring the net the, the 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 new letter again. And she said, Come see me on Thursday. After I bring back this letter, I will go back on Thursday. And she says, uh, come see me on Thursday. I go there and she is busy. She can't see me. She is, but she said I should come on Thursday. So at the end of the day, guys, I had sat there since uh, midday until the end of business and at the end of the business i i went to the security again i said guys can you call her back again because she said i must come on thursday she surely knows that i am here and you have called her first and she said she'll see me after her meetings if she's going to see me after me her meetings i am here please tell her that i have not left they call her and she gives me another day i go there again i go there again and this time um um she's like i'll see you after whatever meetings that she has i'm like oh my god that's the same story but i am going to stay here because she promised me and if she did i'm going to take her word and my faith is going to remain here and every every hour this time because i realized the first time she she didn't get back to me i would go back to the security guys reminded that i'm still here reminded that i'm still here and i remember 
the first like the the day that i got to see her she says this is how much we'll give you but i had waited i was so determined i believed in this book it was uh it was um one of the happiest day of my life i was so delighted i was happy i was i was the first young girl in my country to write her book and i was beyond words finally she said okay i'll finalize your sponsorship can you come on another day still i waited that day that i had to go pick up that check but what i am grateful for that i was determined i took the first step and i never turned back from this the, that step so speak to yourself it is so important what you say to yourself. I was laughing at my spiritual father actually on Friday. He was teaching um, the word. And I, I was, it was so funny because what he was teaching was so relevant to what I am talking about. And I felt like, oh my God, God, yes, <laughs> this, is so, this is so in season with what you, what you really want us to, to be aware of, determination. Because if you're not determined, you're not going to go anywhere. So he was saying, guys, why do you speak to yourself? And she was, he was saying something that really made me laugh. I think I was sharing it with, <coughs> sorry, with one of the girls at church. And she's here today. Uh, <laughs> she's here today. You remember I was telling you that he was saying, um, uh, um, like, how do we speak to ourselves? And how, 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 how you, um, one, one of his daughters at church, you know, he would be, he would be like, she would be like every time she's, 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 She's laughing at something. Something is funny. She'll be like, you're killing me. <laughs> She'll be like, you're killing me. Oh, my God. I'm dead. And he was like, what are you saying to yourself? He's like, you know what? Physical things um, <laughs> the physical things are not spiritual things. What you say to yourself here has an implication somewhere. So he was like, what do you say to yourself? So I'm just saying um that was on a lighter note but on a serious note here and okay that was serious too because it is important what you say to yourself you're killing me like like I, he even made <laughs> he even made um um an example with killing me softly and he's like uh, Ah, don't allow me to kill it so kill you softly i loved the sermon was good but it was so in season with what i've been praying to god about what i have been um um uh, putting my attention on being determined about what i do and also you know determination will make you go and do extra like do the best i, I want to do the best i want to come here prepared i just don't want to come here and talk there's so many people that talk can i talk something different can i bring something different to the uh to people so um speak to yourself you know keep keep your faith like the faith of a child believe it as it is if you hear something when you're praying or when when you're studying the word believe it as it is believe it as it is believe it as it is and you will see the hand of god you will see the manifestation of what you believe and also understand that the blessing what you are looking for will find you at the point of work jesus found uh, um, peter and andrew john and james at the point of work and that is where they were promoted so if you are not working, if you are not doing anything, if you're not determined, it means that you will just wish, but you will never be able <coughs> to work in reality. In reality of that what of that that of that which you believe is your purpose or your assignment on earth. And uh, perish the gratifying attempt, the temporary moment that compromises a permanent one. Uh, perish um, uh, that thought or that voice that tells you not to go to it. Uh, perish. Um, sometimes I was talking to you uh, yesterday, uh, Twinsy. I, I, I told you I have somebody here. I was talking to her yesterday about. I'm like, I. I I, I'm planning. I, I need to plan from everything, from my finances and everything. I need to be so intentional because when you don't plan, if you don't plan, you're, you're, play, you're, you're not planning for your success. You're planning for your failure. 
even if you're not aware or aware but if you don't plan for your success you're definitely planning for your failure so you might as well plan for your success so you need to put everything in place in a way that it will be favorable for you when you need to tap in into those things that you have planned for right so gratifying a temporary moment that uh, uh purge it move it um don't gratify those temporary moments that, that compromise permanent moments in your life that God has brought. Wake up, go out there, be determined, and be sure that um, you are coming back with what you have been sent with. The Bible says the word of God does not go, and does, does not return null and void. When it comes back, it comes back with something. It comes back with something. So take care of your inner being i cannot stress this enough um be sure that you take care of your inner being um when you don't take care of your inner being it, your determination will be attacked your 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 faith will be attacked everything take care of your inner being your joy your peace your faith um don't fight battles that you don't need to fight choose your battles choose your battles have you had uh, people that if your friend hates somebody or they don't like somebody and they have their own personal vendetta that tomorrow they can wake up having fixed it and you join in and you don't like the somebody anymore Mm -mm. do not choose battles that are yours don't adopt hot spotted uh, hatred don't do that don't hate somebody <coughs> I hate somebody who's no longer in your church anymore or who's no longer in the, in the same company anymore that you are in. Don't do that. Don't do that. It is, it is not godly. But also, it's also immature. You can, you can still love somebody, greet them, hi, how are you, and do, go on with your business without hating on them. If they're no longer in your church and in another church, allow them to be. They are in another church because God has called them there, and maybe it was their time to go there. If they're now in another company of their chosen self-employment, don't look down upon them and be like, you left your job. No, no, don't do that. Take care of your inner being. Stop adopting battles that are not necessary. You should you should not even hate in, in the in the first place. No, don't hate anybody. Take care of your inner being. If you feel like you feel bitter towards somebody who has done something to you, work on it. Pray about it. Um, I think um, I, I have talked about bitterness recently, but I think it will be something that we revis revisit in another angle so that you understand what happens when you are angry at somebody for a very long time and you do not forgive them. So I hope we had an incredible time. I had a very incredible time. Uh, about this very topic about being determined i assure you if you can do all these things that i've stated they're working in my they've worked in my life and i believe that they will also work in your own life there's so many things that i i was reading about about determined people the attitude of of, of a determined person do not listen to people that um that um 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 are coming for your confidence um for your mind for your peace or even for your gift that you are using to go for where you need to go to listen to people that are building you up listen to people that that have your best interest at heart that will go in i'm i'm, I'm against people that be like oh you're not so good but you know i have your best interest interest at heart no no you believe that you're in that space because you have something to give do not give in to people's words or people's um whatever just don't give in you know just don't give in to their words speak to yourself go right in be dirty with your hands and do what you need to do because god is going to bless it god is going to bless it i pray we had a good time today i had a great great time i felt the flow in my heart because i, I think i've been going over this over and over again i believe it's going to bless you it's going to change your life it's going to impact you and i pray that it does something in your life and you do apply you know guys after here do something don't just sit there with the information and and it expires do something about it from me pastor sheila i said Ta -da -da! until we meet again i love you god bless you
Ooh.